Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck next week. Fish are some of the weirdest vertebrates on Earth, and some fish are definitely more bizarre than others. In the following video, you'll discover 15 of the strangest fish in the world's oceans, ranging from the laughter-provoking blobfish to the fish that can change gender permanently. Number 15. Oranda Goldfish. The Oranda Goldfish is a fish species that continues to fascinate aquarists around the world. It is an unusually beautiful fish that goes about its business peacefully. In fact, many fish-keeping enthusiasts have expressed their desire to get one and keep it in their tank, and without a doubt, they look stunning when put on display in any tank. The fish and its appearance have been linked to wealth and affluence as you have to be comfortable to be able to keep this weirdly beautiful fish, it is available in different types and colors. If you are still working out an explanation for the unusual appearance of their Oranda goldfish, you'll find it interesting that it is an artificially cultivated fish breed from aquarium goldfish. There are different variations of the Oranda goldfish which makes people think there are different species, but they are all just the same species and Oranda goldfish can live for up to 15 years or more if the aquarium conditions are excellent. When acquiring an Oranda, make sure you buy a healthy one and be on the lookout for signs of disease or ailments. Generally, you can keep your Orandas with other fish in the aquarium because Orandas are peaceful and not aggressive. Orandas are capable of growing up to about 7 inches in length, or even more depending on the quality of care and the environment they live in. Orandas love to eat, but you have to monitor their diet strictly to avoid overfeeding which can cause digestive issues. Before we move on, we've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to top 10 videos and hit the bell icon in the next 5 seconds, you'll win 10 years of incredible luck, give it a shot, it actually works. Number 14. Mandarin Fish. Mandarin fish are common in the Pacific Ocean, and their natural habitats are inshore reefs and lagoons. It is a unique species of fish with tiny spikes all over its body, if anybody or anything tries to handle it, the spikes inject toxic mucus into them. The blue coloring on the mandarin fish is produced by the fish itself, and only two species of animals in the world can produce their own blue coloring. Mandarin fish feed on small invertebrates that live at the bottom of the water. The mandarin fish itself is mostly found at depths of between 3 to 59 feet, and the fish species move around in small groups. It is a great choice of fish species for an aquarium, but feeding it can be a bit difficult so it should be left to expert Aquarius. This does not change the fact that humans are the biggest predators of mandarin fish. They are highly prized, and one fish can cost as much as $150. Besides humans, scorpion fish are the other known predators of mandarin fish. They have also been proven to do better in the wild than in captivity. Like many other fish species, they can live four times longer in the wild than when they are captured. They do not have scales, and for all the bright colors they have on them, they avoid other fish. They are shy fish species. Number 13. Tasseled Scorpion Fish. This is also known as scorpion fish and is commonly found in the Indo-Pacific area. It comes in a variety of colors depending on where it is found, and some of its other names include rockfish, stingfish, and small-scale firefish. It has similar behavior to stonefish in the way they capture their prey. A tasseled scorpion fish will often lay in wait for its prey, well hidden and camouflaged. It is also highly venomous, but they will hardly attack anyone. The venom is mostly for defense from predators. It is a carnivorous fish that can grow up to a length of 36 centimeters. The unusual thing about the fish is, its head region there are tassels surrounding its jaw looking like beards. They are mostly found on reef slopes between 1 and 35 meters. Sometimes they swim in shallow waters and swimmers may step on them accidentally, and the fish's venomous spine can inflict severe pain. Number 12. Lionfish. Lionfish have a reputation in North America for being invasive because they are notorious for killing all native species. Their reproduction is fast, up to 30,000 eggs every week, and they are easily adaptable to new environments. They are common in the Pacific Ocean and have a length between 2 inches and 16 inches. They come with feathery fins that look attractive to smaller fish and lure them in. The lionfish look harmless with their beautiful zebra-pattern striped bodies, 
but they have highly venomous spikes that can inflict severe pain on anything that gets too close. They may not attack, but they use their venomous spikes for self-defense, and if they sting a human being with their venom, the effects, although not fatal, can be severe dizziness and nausea. An interesting thing about lionfish is, the ability of their stomachs to expand up to 30 times their normal size after feeding. They have large appetites and this is evident in the way they swallow their prey whole. The female lionfish can produce up to 2 million eggs in a year, which means they reproduce throughout the year. Lionfish in the wild can live for up to 15 years and the larger ones can swim at depths of up to 300 feet. Lionfish of all sizes have venomous spines running along their backs, so it's best not to underrate them. Number 11. The Regal Blue Tang. The Regal Tan gained popularity as a type of fish in the critically acclaimed film Finding Nemo, and the fish was portrayed by a cartoonized version named Dory. Their oval shapes have blue-colored bodies and yellow tail alongside a pectoral fin. When young, a regal tang has a bright yellow color with blue spots around their eyes, and at the adult stage, the body assumes a fully blue color. As the regal blue tangs grow, their color changes. Regal tanks are commonly found in Indo-Pacific waters, and they settle around coral reefs along ocean shores. The primary diet of the regal tang comprises algae, and most times the fish move around in groups or pairs. A group of regal tangs may comprise 12 members, and this group may include some other species of tang and surgeonfish. Their coping mechanism against predators is to lie on their side and pretend to be dead until the predator goes away. Bale regal tangs can be aggressive, and will often be found engaging in fights with their cattle spines. It is through these fights that they establish dominance and acquire breeding grounds. Number 10. Juvenile Emperor Angelfish. The unusual thing about the juvenile emperor angelfish is how beautiful it looks, and when placed in an aquarium it makes a beautiful sight. This gorgeous creature grows up to a length of 15 inches, but when grown in a tank it grows to a length of 12 inches. Only experienced fish keepers should keep this fish species because they have a special tank and water requirements. There is also a high price tag attached to the fish. The emperor angelfish live around rockwork and around coral growth in clear lagoons. They are mostly found in the reef areas of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The male emperor angelfish are highly territorial, and with two females they can dominate territory as large as 10,000 square feet. They mostly feed on plants and animals, so if they are being kept in a tank they need to get a balanced diet that comprises meat, vegetables, and plants. Giving them the exact things available to them in the wild may be impossible, but just striking a balance between plants and meat diets. Do not leave food in their tank for more than 5 minutes, if they don't eat the food, remove it immediately so it does not affect the quality of the water. Number 9. Coffin Fish. The coffin fish is common in the southwestern Pacific waters off the Australian east coast. It is categorized as a sea toad species and dwells in salty temperate waters at a depth of between 50 to 300 meters. The coffin fish has a spiny and globoost body that can grow up to 22 centimeters in length. It comes with inflatable gills that collect water while serving as a defense mechanism. The water it draws with its gills can supply the coffin fish with oxygen for up to four minutes. Feeding the coffin fish involves luring small praises with their snouts. Number 8. Blobfish. The blobfish is one of the most picked on fish in the world. Perhaps it has something to do with its looks but of course, no matter how much we don't say it, everyone can agree that it is a not so good looking fish, and other than its ugly looks it is also an unusual fish that does not look quite like any other fish species. The blobfish is a deep water fish commonly found along the coast of Australia, and to make it more unusual you will only find a blobfish between 2,000 and 400 feet under the waves, where the pressure is 120 times higher than the surface pressure. So if you are going to get a close look at the blobfish you need to be in a submarine, and then you should not count on the blobfish swimming to the surface because it won't happen. The blobfish is a non-skeletal fish because as a deep water fish species, the only way to withstand the pressure is to have a water-like body support structure. This explains the jelly-like skeleton of the blobfish. It also does not have a swim bladder, which is also why it is able to survive the intense pressure of the deepest parts of the water. 
So while the world may be very hard on the blobfish, it has won over everyone. Nobody can survive 4,000 feet underwater. But the blobfish will swim around and be completely unbothered. Number 7. White Margin Stargazer. The White Margin Stargazer has different names such as Popeye Fish, Marbled Stargazer, Popeed Fish, and a tube known as a Stargazer. It earned the name Stargazer from the position of its eyes above its head, and the fish has an unusual way of burying itself in the ground leaving only its eyes and mouth above the sand as it waits for prey. Stargazers are a different breed of fish that have some electric organs behind their eyes. These electric organs can discharge up to 50 volts of electricity that can send any creature that comes across them into shock. Stargazers are naturally always laying in ambush for prey, and the combination of their electric shock and venom has earned them a spot on the list of the meanest animals in existence. White margin stargazers feed mostly on fish and are found lurking in the sands of free flats. They have an oral lure which they use to lure their prey into striking range, there is a cirrus at the edge of their mouth, which prevents sand from getting into their mouth whenever they are buried underneath the sand. These unusual creatures can grow up to a length of 45 centimeters and are predominantly found in Indo-Pacific waters. Number 6. Male Jawfish. Unlike the rest that transforms from female to male, the male dendritic jawfish retains its gender but plays the role of the female. The traditional role of the female carrying eggs after mating is not the same for a male jawfish. After the female lays the egg mass and fertilizes them, the male picks the egg up in his mouth and does the job of incubating them for days or weeks, depending on the species. This method of incubating eggs is known as mouth brooding and through this period the male jawfish does not eat at all. All he does is juggle the eggs in his mouth so air can reach them. After hatching the eggs, neither the male nor the female look after the juveniles any further. There's no definite explanation for why males are responsible for carrying the eggs, but it may be linked to giving the females that produce the eggs enough time to rest so they can lay more eggs. Usually, only a few of the jawfish's offspring survive after hatching and the male and female may need to mate again soon so they can produce enough offspring that will survive. Number 5. Picasso Triggerfish. The fact that the Picasso Triggerfish is named after an artist is the first unusual thing about it. Named after Pablo Picasso, the Picasso Triggerfish looks like a work of art and its unusualness is that of beauty. The fish is a beautiful sight to behold, even though there's nothing beautiful about its behavior. It is an aggressive and highly territorial fish species that do not allow large intruders including human divers into its space. Its primary source of food is underwater, where it can find invertebrates living in the deep parts of the water body. Other than that, it is a scavenger by nature and an omnivore. Both male and female Picasso triggerfish are territorial, and the female is always trying to protect her eggs from predators. Another unusual thing about the Picasso triggerfish is the way it sleeps. It sleeps on its side in the midst of rocks or corals. It is also a top choice for fish enthusiasts who wish to keep fish in their homes, and the best environment to keep a Picasso triggerfish is in a saltwater aquarium with a minimum size of 100 gallons. Keep the pH around 8.2 and the temperature at 78 degrees Fahrenheit and also make sure there are other fish in the aquarium, especially aggressive ones. You can expect the Picasso triggerfish to cause trouble with other fish in the tank, but nothing to worry about. It's probably living its best life. Number 4. French Angelfish. The French Angelfish is an attractive fish that is mostly found in shallow reefs. It has vertical stripes on its body at the juvenile stage, but these stripes disappear at the adult stage. The French Angelfish is common in Florida, the Caribbean, and the Bahamas. They can survive in both the wild and controlled environments such as an aquarium, and if you are keeping them in an aquarium the best thing is to keep one angelfish in one tank. Although in the wild they swim around in pairs. The point of keeping one angelfish in a tank is so the fish can have enough space to swim around because of their territorial nature. In the wild, the angelfish is commonly found in areas with coral reefs, so they can be protected from predators. They are also not prone to diseases and mostly live long up to 10 years. In some countries like Thailand and Singapore, 
It is categorized as fresh fish, however, it has been reported to cause ciguatera poisoning. Generally, angelfish do not swim beyond depths of 15 feet and can sometimes be found near snorkelers and divers. Adult French angelfish can grow to lengths of 24 inches, but the most common length is 10 inches. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 3. Clown Triggerfish. The clown triggerfish is distinct at first glance. Their dark lower body with large white spots and yellow upper body with black dots are distinctive enough to mark this fish species as an unusual fish. They also sport white and yellow stripes on their face. They may seem a bit relaxed at their early stages, but once they grow into adults their territorial tendencies begin to manifest. They can exist alongside other fish species, but if the other species are not as aggressive as the clown triggerfish, make sure the triggerfish gets added to the tank list. To keep triggerfish in a tank, the tank should have at least a size of 120 gallons so the fish can get enough space to swim and hide. You will find the clown triggerfish in the Indo-Pacific Ocean, and its broad teeth and strong jaws make it a formidable predator for its prey. It preys on crustaceans and sea urchins. This fish species is highly territorial, and if it gets to an area first it sets up a territory, defends it, and produces offspring. Number 2. The Asian Sheepshead Wrasse. The Asian Sheepshead Wrasse is also known as the Kabudai, a clear-cut example of reversing the roles. This fish is known to display high levels of hermaphroditism, as a female Asian sheepshead wrasse changes routinely to male. At a point in the life of the female kabudai, she can turn to male permanently. This fish is common in the western Pacific Ocean, and it can grow up to a length of 100 centimeters. The heaviest recorded weight for this fish species is 14.7 kilograms. The hermaphroditic tendencies of this fish caught the BBC Earth crew capture the transformation on camera in 2017 and the waters around Sado Island. Apart from being a hermaphroditic fish species, the appearance of the Asian sheepshead wrasse is also quite unusual. These fish have thick lower jaws and their bodies are narrow and elliptical with standout bumps all over their heads. They are colored dark red on the body and around the belly is a light red coloration. Females and juveniles are distinctively different from adult males in their lower jaws and the protrusions they have on their bodies. Typical male Asian sheepshead wrasse will be found in the midst of a lot of females, and this is responsible for their territoriality. Any intruder that tries to trespass into their territory will be viciously fought off. As the Asian sheepshead wrasse grows older, the body color changes, and in adults, there are noticeable white lines along with their fins and sides. Only the pectoral fins are covered in a complex black pattern. Newly hatched young ones are usually orange in color rather than red. Number 1. Scallops. Scallops are present and common in the oceans, but never in freshwater. They are used to make delicious meals, especially the white adductor muscle which becomes tender and round after cooking it. The coral can also be eaten, but in the United States, they generally do not eat it. Some species of scallops are used for aquaculture. Scallops come with shells shaped like fans with bright colors. These shells are highly valued by shell collectors and are used for designs in art and architecture. Because scallops are widely distributed, they are one of the most popular items that beachgoers usually collect. They can be found in virtually every water body, and the largest number of scallop species dwell in the Indo-Pacific region. Most scallop species live in waters between the low tide line and 100 meters. While some species can be found in deeper water, some scallop species are also opportunistic when it comes to their living environments. As they are highly adaptable to various conditions, you will mostly find the scallop under seagrass rocks, sand, mud coral kelp, or rubble. Generally, species of the scallop family are active swimmers that use their adductor muscles to propel themselves through the water. These muscles are used to control their shells and this characteristic ensures that they can live freely in their habitat. Clapping their valve helps them swim, and whatever direction that the valve opens is where they swim in. And there you have it. 
We probably have barely covered all the unusual fish in the world, but these 15 are some of the most unusual ones, and perhaps you have seen more unusual fish. You can let us know where did you see them, which part of the world, and what did the fish look like? Tell us in the comments section. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for more amazing videos.